Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to look at document automation using Contract Express. So with document automation, there are many different uh, methods you can use to automate um, document creation, specifically contracts. But we're going to look at um, a document automation provider called Contract Express and how you can embed that into your website. Um, if you're a lawyer who just wants their clients to go through their website, generate standard documents, add an e-signature feature, and then automatically they have a valid contract. So if that's what you're trying to achieve, that's what we're looking at today. So this is like a dummy website I've created. And so there are different rooms. I've called them different rooms. And so it's like a social network or website, whatever it is you want to call it. So here people would comment, and that's what we have on the activity section. And then there are different rooms. And each room has to do with a certain topic. So let's say you want to create a prenup agreement. You'd go into the Marriages Act or Marriages Room. And then uh, people can ask questions. You can reply. And then you can generate a marriage contract or prenup contract, if you will. And then if you go back, there's also partnership agreements. You can generate your contract here. Uh, service agreements, which are quite popular. Generate your own service agreement. Say you, um, you want to hire a a developer to do a project for you. You can automatically click, click generate contract, and then it will take you to um to a website. So the website is Contract Express that we're currently using. They're going to um be responsible for all the document automation in terms of sending out documents to your clients. That's where you can also edit your templates. You can also edit um your alarms and things like that. So you can also uh, use it as a button on your website or you can use it as a link. I just don't have any CSS, so that's why it's a link. Um, so a client now receives this page, and then this is obviously a T's and C page. They click next. And then they uh, add in their details. it's not that long don't worry um so as they're filling in their details the contract is generated so we can add anything we want here and you can make your templates as con as complex as you want so they're not all standard so you can add if else statements to your contracts and things like that uh who will be disclosing information how long i just want to give you an understanding of what happens so this is what your client will see and then as soon as they're finished they will click save and close And then the uh, NDA for whoever just filled it out is ready to go. Um, that's pretty much it. And then the next thing they can do is to download the actual NDA and uh, take a look at it. So let's just try open it. So you can edit uh, things like the company's logo. Uh, you can edit the headings here. You can edit certain features, um, effective dates. And so as you can see, we selected um, the company's branch in the United Kingdom. So you can add and say wherever it is you you guys want. You can add addresses to your different um, regions and things like that. Confidential information, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty standard stuff. But you can also add... Um, other complex features to your documents. It doesn't have to be the standard. I just wanted to get uh, give you an idea of what your clients will look at. And so this section here, for demonstration purposes, not for signature, you can add the e-signature uh, sections. If you use Contract Express, you can basically add your own signature, whoever's signing signatures on behalf of your company, and then your clients can add their own signature. They can sign it. And then you also have the option of allowing the document to be first sent to an attorney, i.e. an attorney in your firm to review and then send it out again to, um, to your clients. I hope that helps guys. Thanks.